Hello, so welcomes back everyone. Anfwolf here with more Europa Universalis 4. Playing as the nation of France. Where we last left off, we were looking, well, we were currently straight away pulled into a war against Portugal and the Papal State by Castile, which made up the first maybe 10 15 minutes of the video, where we help break the Papal State down, who are now expanding even further down the leg of Italy by destroying Naples. But then. Scotland decided to get a bit aggressive and wanted to take the uh, Shetland Islands from Norway, who have very little. In fact, they've only got Iceland, it seems, now. So we they asked us to come in and help them out, so we obliged. We separate pieced out before, obviously, Scotland pieced out, because I didn't think Scotland would give us anything for our troubles. So we took Wessex from England, which allows us to now fabricate not only on Cornwall and Kent, but obviously Gloucestershire, Oxfordshire and London, which I would really like to take in the near future. But at the moment, obviously, we have a truce and that's going to last until, well, for eight years. So I'm thinking we are going to go to war against Siena, who have currently no allies. Let's have a look at our coalition map mode. Still people who are fairly upset with us, but I think that's fine. Austria. We don't need to call them in, but hopefully they don't get upset with us. If we eat up a lot of Siena. Siena's provinces are, are pretty good. They have silk and wine as their trade resources, and a lot of their development is pretty damn amazing. I would love to take them as a vassal. But I think we're going to upset a lot of people if we try it. Uh, speaking of trying things, we're going to bring our fleet down. Uh, do we need it all? I don't think we do. Let's just split our force. And then the 23 flutes can just sit and wait. We're going to raise these forts up. Because they're the ones that will be most likely in danger. Right, let's unpause. Get our fleet moving down. We've left 20,000 men here in Wessex, just in case England want to try and take it back. I think we'll try to declare on them before they declare on us. I think that's the best way to go about it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I think we're doing well. I say, I don't think we can take much of Siena in this war, but I would like to take as much as possible before anyone else snaps them up. We were going to go to war against Milan, but they've allied themselves with Hungary and Austria, who I wouldn't really want to fight. Not right now, at least. So our fleet's in position. They have 17,000 men. Right. With this in mind, we are going to declare. Castile could come in. We don't need them to come in for us. So we're going to say the war goal is Luca, which is right next door. Do any of these have forts? You have a castle. You have a castle. You have a castle. Okay, so this is going to be pretty hard to siege. Uh, we'll say Luca. Oh, we caught some of their fleet out of position. Can we... Oh, we can march in. Oh, nice. We can take all the forts on at once. Okay. This is farmland as well, so... Yeah, okay. That's, that's absolutely fine. Hopefully we break that army without too much trouble. Keep you going, keep you going. Okay. Unfortunately, they're going to recover in Pisa. I'm going to guess that's where the Leaning Tower is. Forgive me for my ignorance. I'm only guessing, but it would make sense in a logical kind of way. You can call in allies. Let's not worry about that. 
Flanders have joined our war while we're annexing them. Portugal, why are you pulling back? Why, were you at war with someone? A shanty, I'm guessing. Have some of our fleet blockading this port as well. So yeah, this is most likely going to form another coalition against us. And I just realised I didn't set my timer. Hopefully this won't turn out to be another hour long episode. <laughs> Which it could be. It won't be. I think we'll try to keep these ones fairly short. England have inherited the throne of Holland. Interesting. Have they really now? Yeah, I think the best thing for us to do is probably declare Siena as a... as a vassal. Rather than try to take territory, because we could take them piecemeal. But I say then someone else will just snap up some really good territory. I'd rather just have it all for myself. Because I'm greedy like that. That siege is over. Let's pull this fleet across. when this siege is over oh our natural scientist has passed away give it a moment there you go do we have any inflation right now we do have a little okay that's fair yeah when this siege is over this fleet's gonna move out into the Tyrrhenian sea Oh good, we can move our army in. Cool. Didn't realise we could do that. Poland have announced us as a rival. Okay, fair enough. We're far enough away. Is Poland part of... Uh, that's the wrong button. Poland are part of the Protestant, um, Protestant League. Okay. There goes Siena's fleet. Where are they running to? Are we over? Wait a minute. Oh, I thought we had captured sh some ships there. We have a shipyard. Good. Okay, you're 100% sieged. What can we take from you? You are oh, so close to becoming my vassal. Okay, fine. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. That would upset some people. That would upset even more people. And a great uh, man. See, if we take that though, then really Milan have no reason to declare on Siena anymore. Bavaria, Ulm, Milan, Babrant. You know what? We're going to do that. We'll take war reparations. We'll take all your money. This mud okay. Mm. 
Right, that upsets people. I understand. I'd be upset too. Holy hell. Oh, okay, so this was Florence. Um... Right, we need to raise some forts on our borders again, because no doubt we're going to have another, co another coalition. Yeah, we're probably going to have a coalition against us. <laughs> Don't know why I'm laughing. I'm really crying inside. Uh, we'll maintain our diplomat. Estates demand control. The clergy. Do you really? There you go. Be happy. We need to choose some more rivals. In the form of the Papal State again, even though they weren't a valid rival before. Austria, stay happy with me, please. <laughs> Royal Marriage with Scotland again, sure. So let's have a look. This was a 31 development province, and this was a 26. Siena has a 37, but what can you do? Probably could have taken them all. Maybe not in the peace deal, but we could have taken them, but it wouldn't have worked out well for us in the end. Cultural unrest in Calais, because they're Flemish. Hopefully when we've actually taken Flanders, Flemish might become part of our culture, or an accepted part of our culture, I should say. Probably drop our army maintenance now. Uh, we have two free diplomats. Let's improve relations with Milan. We'll try and keep people happy, reasonably. At least England, I don't think, can join a coalition against us. I think you need minus... I think you need minus 50. Or, like, 50 aggressive expansion against the nation to actually join. I can't remember if it's 50 or if it's 30. I think it's 50 to start a coalition. And it might be 30 to then join an already running coalition. I could be wrong. I don't know if anyone else... Has anyone else been as aggressive as I have? Oops. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Austria have been fairly aggressive. Poland... Oh, Muscovy have grown quite big. Looks like they've colonised the um, northern provinces, the wasteland here. I'm not still classified as wasteland, even though it is their colour. Interesting. Mali looks quite big. Timbuktu looks quite large, but we can't see how large their territory actually is. Ethiopia looks reasonably sized. Looks like they crossed over into Yemen as well. Oh, we converted the heretics in province. Let's convert the heretics in Wessex. So yeah, we have some rebel factions, but that's fine. We have another free diplomat. So when do we finish annexing Flanders? Let's have a look. 1569. Four more years. Let's drop it up to... Um, we'll pick it up to speed four. England and the Knights have become allies. Okay. Well, that's a good alliance for you, England. That's for sure. Right. 
Actually, we should continue fabricating claims. Oh, what the hell's this? Sewing with her jazz. Sorry, I had to take my headphones off there. It sounds like the uh, our neighbour with the throttling car. Oh. We can no longer claim Piedmont. Is that? It is down here. Actually, we might as well cancel that mission in Siena. Um, sorry, in Milan. Since they're allied with Austria right now, we don't want to be annoying Milan until they mess up themselves. What's our development? 912. Almost at that 1,000 um, development threshold where we can declare ourselves as an empire. Have more discovery spread. Ah, we are, we are now in a Regency Council. Oh well, we weren't going to be declaring war for a little while anyway, but how old is our ruler? At least ten, so five years. Okay, we can work with that. In fact, I think the Regency Council is slightly better than our previous uh, king. Twenty-six ducats a month. Continue fabricating claims on England. Oh, we could take Holland as well. Mm, it's probably part of the HRE, actually. Yeah, it is. Let's not do that. Austria would just ask us to return it to Holland themselves anyway. I'm surprised they never asked England, or maybe they refused. Scotland's joined the Protestant League. Oh, well, there goes one of our alliances straight away. If the Protestants actually declare, they might not. Yep, Scotland broke their alliance. All that trust raced. All that trust wasted. So, in terms of relationship slots, we still have a royal marriage. We're not going to guarantee your independence, then. Uh, let's revoke that. In fact, after we've taken out England, we might as well take you out. Yep. Reduce overextension. So what we'll go for. Do we have enough? Almost. Three more months. Get that core going. Rebel factions are... Good. It's a core and look at complete. We want to spend some more money. We were using some to build our manufactories. The cloth, silk and dye ones I thought were worthwhile. So they, they cost a lot, the manufactories, but... to be worthwhile in the end. More manpower. Get some more land force limit. So let's see what actually, what did you have again? A workshop, barracks, oh hello.
Okay. So a dock, manpower modifier, shipyard, castle, marketplace, workshop, temple, barracks. Okay, so that really, that, yeah. Do we want... Two more flutes, so then we have a nice 25. I don't know why 25 might be a nice number. Really, we should be getting about 20 with our force limit right now. What do we need in terms of our army? Let's have a look. What is this composition? We want probably two more cannons. Oh, that general passed away. There you go. He was actually a pretty good general as well. Two free diplomats. Anyone else pretty big around here? The Ottomans are going to hate us anyway because they've joined the Protestant League. Did anyone will accept vassalization? Probably not. Yeah. The diplomats won't stay in Brittany and Castile for long, but I like to keep them topped up as we can. Read a discovery spread. Ah, so we found even more land. It's kind of where, kind of where Canada would be. Greenland, Novara were. It was part of Milan, wasn't it? That's fine. We can give that up. Austria has declared on Baden. Yep. Converted the heretics of Wessex. I wouldn't mind breaking our Royal Marriage with Scotland, but I think we take a stability hit for doing that, so might as well just wait it out. Any better advisors? We have plenty of money right now. We could probably hire, like, say, a Tier 2 advisor. Lassic, I'm guessing, or some native colony that they found. Yearly inflation, we are still dropping, so that's fine. Diplomatic reputation plus one is pretty good, actually. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. Call our diplomat back from Castile. Do you have any other allies? Bavaria, Venice, Liège. Uh, I guess we can improve relations with Liège. Why not? England, where's your army? I see half of it. Maybe they're fighting overseas. When does our truce end again? Three more years.
What's the supply limit here in Wessex? 48, plenty. Lithuania is our rival. The Ottomans were their rival. Okay, that's fine. So we could return the favour, no doubt. Muscovy's joined the Catholic League. Okay, good. Hopefully Muscovy and the Ottomans may be able to keep their... Keep each other occupied. Is Hungary part of the Catholic League? They are, good. Increase our stability again. August next year, the Regency ends. Improve relations with Castile's allies. I wonder if Castile can form Spain with the territory we've taken. Not too sure. I mean, we have put some points into actually developing this territory as well, and actually building, actually getting buildings there. So I wouldn't really want to give them up. Is it one? Was this one? No, it was one, two, three, four. Yeah, these four I took from Aragon. And I do have a claim on Barcelona, which Castile don't. Oh. Let's continue fabricating our claims on Castile. Back. Claim Cornwall again. We've integrated Flanders. Convert Anvers to Catholic. Which we can't do right now. Rival of our rival is Bohemia. Probably do that one. Maybe not though. Yeah, we'll give it a try though. Right, unfortunately we're probably going to be over our army force limit. What's here? Let's um, get rid of these flutes. We are five over our force limit, so... The, the army maintenance can't actually march the troops right now so let's have a look 65 naval force limit 92 army force limit four light ships one carrick where's the rest of our fleet doing absolutely nothing of course because I forgot to set them to actually do something. Okay. Oh. Pass the Blasphemy Act. A lot of people... Why did that become available? A ruler has administrative skill of free. Yeah, sure. 
Everyone took that decision. Depletion of the European beaver in Saxony. Sax Saxon. Saxony, there you go. So, what's our control of the English Channel now? 34% against England's 53. Almost 100,000 manpower limit. So, we haven't had a coalition form against us, which is always good. Austria and Hungary are fighting. Oh, our ruler has come of age. New declare st statute in restraint of appeals. Papal state hate us. Until the end of, until the, end of the game. Ouch. Won't be so bad, but we want to keep some of these people happy. So let's just uh, turn that one off, shall we? Brittany, would you like to be friends? The answer is no. Our economic base has um, risen again. Oh well. Let's have a look at our, um, this is the wrong button, autonomy. We have 27, do we? So we do. So we have 27 transports. Oh. We can invest in some new technology. Our Ministry of Technology 13. Yeah, we can do that. Our Truce of England has ended. Thanks for that. Another one of my provinces has been converted. Flanders itself was converted. Bloody hell. And our truce with England has ended, so technically we can go back to war against them right now. Are they still at war with the natives? They're not. England, how big is your army? Mm, reasonable, actually, but they may not all be here. Um, let's have a look. We'll put a diplomat in their administration. No, your army isn't around right now. Your allied. Ulm, Babrand, and Novograd. I 
I think we'll end this video here, and when we come back, we'll consider our options. I would like to start taking chunks out of England if it's not going to upset people too much. Like, a lot of our nations here, Northern HRE, don't care about what we're up to. Um, like, obviously, in Siena and Milan. So, taking bits and pieces of England one war at a time might be worthwhile. Like, taking a war straight for Kent and London might be worthwhile here and now, because breaking London would give us a Thames estuary and a coastal centre of trade, which basically will hand us control over the English Channel. And then it depends on how much trade is coming from overseas. We might need to start trying to funnel trade. We might need to, um, to take trade ideas to funnel more trade from the Sevilla trade node that Castile have control over. Things to consider. But uh, yeah, feel free to comment below. This of course has been Anthwolf with Europa Universalis 4. Hope you've all enjoyed. And I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for more in the next video. Until then, bye bye now.